Well, there are many hikmahs. There are many <clears throat> justifications and wisdoms behind making music haram. The first and foremost important part of wisdom is to test whether you are a servant or a master. If you're a master, you would not accept the ruling that music is haram. It doesn't make any sense. And this would take you straight to hell, like it did with Satan. Satan was ordered to prostrate to Adam. By Allah, all the angels prostrated. Satan says, whoops, nope, I'm better than him. So <coughs> he did not buy it. He did not comply. He did not submit. So the end result, he's in hell for eternity. One of the hikmah is that Allah examines your submissiveness and compliance with his orders. One of the hikmahs is to purify your heart. Show me one particular or a single individual who listens to music and he's not addicted to it. You can tell their addiction once they get into the car and they find that the radio and the DVD player or the CD or whatever means of listening to music in their stereo is busted, it's not working. Let them take a, a, a drive for half an hour. They can't, they feel so empty, they feel the void in their hearts. They're so frustrated and angry because there's nothing filling their ears as they're addicted to it. Go to an aerobic class or an RB class and you see them jumping and dancing and going up forward and backwards. Turn off the music, boom, nothing. Where's the energy? It's gone. We need music. We need this to get this energy. This energy is satanic. It's a, it's a mood changer. When you're depressed and you listen to something that cheers you up, you become happy. And when you're happy and listen to something that is depressing, you become depressed. This kind of addiction is prohibited in Islam. Islam wants you to be independent, depending only on Allah, relying on Allah. Despite the fact that most, if not all, lyrics of such songs and musics that we listen to today is corruptive, is spoiled, is bad, is, it encourages violence, sex, it degrades women, and the likes, and Allah Azza wa knows better.